how's it going guys? BB here. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day and today I'm going to be showing off all the stuff that I got from Armageddon when I was up in Auckland in October. Apologies for the really rough sounding voice. Uh, I am still sick, been sick for like the past month. Trying to work through it. Um, if you haven't seen my update video I would highly suggest going and checking that out because I go into all the the problems with my health and what's coming up on the channel, future of the channel, all that type of stuff. So um, anyways, let's get straight into this haul because I've got so much things that I want to show you guys. So starting with what I got from Madman, um, once again went to their place and, and bought a whole bunch of cool stuff. I think I bought a few double ups unfortunately. When you forget to bring your list of DVDs that you own, um, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult. So um, Anyways, I got World Conquest, which I think is a double up, but um, it's a Japanese only soundtrack. Um, but it looks cute and I kind of want to try it out. I got the Severing Crime Edge uh, series collection, which is this. Uh, don't know anything about it. It is, yep, Japanese as well. So another subtitle one, Vivid Red uh, Operation. I, I don't know how to say the name of that. This one. <laughs> um, this one is also Japanese um, and definitely don't have this one so this was definitely a new one got it for five dollars these ones that I'm showing now were part of the bargain bin so uh, lucky me getting things for cheap. Astro Boy the second uh, collection I've got the first one and uh, it comes with like so much look how look how thick this thing is it's a thick boy <laughs> so uh, yeah this one here is uh, dual audio it looks like so that is great I haven't seen any of the old Astro Boy so that's something that I'm gonna have to try out I got Expelled from Paradise which is definitely one that I haven't got it's a movie uh, dual audio it's a CG movie um, I have watched it I, I watched it while I was sick so um, I'm gonna do a review on it at some point in time very soon so expect to see that um, wasn't too bad but uh, yeah I've got I've got a few things to say about it <laughs> And the one thing that I did buy that was full price uh, is the second part of Assassination Classroom. Which, yay, I have actually sat down and watched all of it now. Um, except for the second season, which I need to buy. I, I love these. The, the discs are cute. Um, but yeah, this one here, I have not been able to find for ages. I keep looking for the second part of the first season. Nowhere to be found, but I finally found it. And I was just like, okay, need this. I, I want to see the series so I've seen all of the first season love the series and uh, can't wait to get the second season the only problem with buying blu-ray is that they're always hideously expensive I think this was about $60 which uh, not too bad but when you're buying like it's $60 per blu-ray and they have two you know there's 120 and then you've got two seasons it kind of adds up and unfortunately the second season doesn't come with a box set why does it not have a box set? I love box sets and I've got the box set for the first season so it's a shame that the second season doesn't have it but um, I'm rambling sorry love the series though I also picked up this which is a Wes Schwartz Madoka Magica Rebellion English pack um, we're gonna crack this right now because I want to see what we have uh, it's been a while since I've went and bought myself a booster pack of Wes Schwartz um, love that game it's just unfortunately there are kind of problems with it um so what have we got here so we have got this one here this one here be nice if we could get ourselves a signed card but you know we'll just wait and see uh this one here qb a painful thing madoka which is i am i am blind it is a double rear <laughs> double rear down there so uh, yeah, see it's, it's kind of foily, wanted a signature card or like a uh, full art card or something but Beckers can't be choosers, still very happy with this though. I went to learn how to play magic, I know how to play magic but I wanted to like, I wanted stuff, unfortunately um, magic or like Wizards of the Coast, they're not giving away um, their little uh, trial deck things, I, I have them sitting over there somewhere. Um, they used to give you like the the free decks that uh, were like smaller decks 
but you could play with friends still and um, yeah so that kind of sucks I was rather annoyed to see that so didn't end up getting anything like that but um, I did end up buying this I have already opened it because I wanted to add the cats to my cat collection yes I have a Magic the Gathering cat collection which I'm going to be showing you guys in 12 days of anime so um, look forward to that but uh, yeah Ajani because um, ultimate ultimate cat planeswalker um, also got this deck, deck box with it uh, as well as some sleeves but I've used the sleeves uh, to put into my folder so uh, yeah um, still happy to have this uh, I have a box that I want to buy it's like the commander cat deck it's from last year and it's very rare now and probably expensive but it has like all the cats and I need it in my life so that is something that I'm keeping an eye out for if you guys know anywhere that I could maybe buy that commander deck uh, let me know down in the comments as well I went to Mighty 8 and uh, I did pick myself up a little terrarium um, volume 2 I think it is yeah collection 2 terrarium of Pokemon um, you can get one of these six so we are also going to crack this today so um, yeah I have been wanting this for ages I suppose I should look at what is here I think if I had to pick I'd like to get either the Pikachu one with the Tokopi because it's coming up to Christmas so it would look nice in the background the Squirtle one is really really nice um, and I think the Sandshrew and the Diglett or Diglett Sandshrew and Cubone Pokemon I can I can do a thing um, is nice as well I do like this box though before we open it look at that it's nice and shiny I think it might be the Squirtle maybe Yes, it's the Squirtle. Okay, so let's open this up. So it comes packaged like that. So this is the little like bottom background part. We also have the water. Looks like it comes with a little blue pig and the water that Squirtle sits on, I think it is. And lastly, the squirtle itself. Oh no, it looks like that that water is what goes into his mouth. I will say that there is a little bit of like paint defects. Oh yeah. Okay, if I can come come out. There's a few paint defects on this. Oh, that's that's a real shame because like it's real pretty, but okay, why? Yeah, like there are some paint splotches there. Uh, another one on his leg there. Uh, there was one on his head I'm pretty sure as well like his hands yeah the I mean it's it's small but like there's paint blotches on each side so that's a real shame let's put this together and uh, see what it looks like so the water goes into his mouth like that so he's doing like a little water gun which is just adorable it would probably help if I uh, put it in the right way there is like a flat base there <laughs> he accidentally went and put it the wrong way but there we go We've got Squirtle in there. I will say that was very finicky. Um, but that is adorable. Like, not the highest quality, but still pretty cute. Um, that can go there. And of course, that always comes with gum because it's remint. I also went to uh, Hobby Master and I bought these. Uh, honey oat around. These were cheap. They were like half price. Uh, so I got them for 20 uh, instead of 20 each. I wouldn't spend $20 each on these to be honest. Another thing that I'm going to crack open uh, it has sellotape. Why sellotape? Do I have something to open it with? I do. I am so prepared. <laughs> that, that was just an absolute coincidence that I had these near. Don't stab myself please. That would be great. You guys know that I'm accident prone. Open up. Whoopsies. I just kind of like stabbed the box. You guys didn't see that. Alrighty. I think we're open. Yes, we are. Okay, so let's open up Honey Eye first and see what she's like. Usually I don't buy these like chibi ones just because they're like tiny, tiny. And, you know, uh, they're always hideously expensive. But um, pretty good price and seeing it was Honey Eye and Reen. Um, yeah, worth it. Uh, let's have a look here. So it comes with bubble wrap. These are all like um, officially licensed by the way. If you look here we've got like the official stamp here um, and like 
Bampresto and as well as the authentication um, little thing there same goes for Rain. same same deal um, so that's how you know that they're like legit and not bootleg because most of the time they won't have those holographic things here so uh, this is how she is packaged so let's get this little darling out um, let's get her head I will say that like the skin tone on like their face is a little bit pasty for my liking to be honest um, it's not as like if I grab this it's not as pink see how her skin tones quite pink um, this is more like yellow and like her hair is a lot lighter than than what you'd expect um, so here's her head see what I mean very pasty very very light but I suppose that's okay um, and then we've got her body we get her body out and like she just has a peg that goes into her back uh, come on come out she's got herself a giant rice ball because we know that honey I likes her rice um, and then her base oh her base is cute her base even has rice on it uh, it says on it love life school idol project lesson wear uh, honey oh poison me see it's rice and muse and uh, even on the back it has just like the usual bits that you'd have on a base and then there here we go the thing that holds her up is the pig so see comes with a little pig okay so let's get honey oh together um, so we just plonk her head on like so come on yeah there we go so that's what she looks like very cute as you see there's a hole in the back which you just kind of shove in well that seems to stay together pretty well which is great and then let's see how it stays on the base that's the question <coughs> here she is very cute so yeah this is my first little uh, chibi figure here like yeah other than you know androids so very cute she can she can go over here because she's nice and small next to her big harmio and uh, then we have got rain which where are my scissors let's get this open kind of the same as Hanio, kind of pasty the hair colors right though so that's good just put the decapitated de Decapitated, 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 decapitated. That's what I was trying to say. The decapitated head over there. <laughs> that was a fail. <laughs> then we've got her body. Usual thing with rain. Very cute. Put her body over there. She has a cat on her base which is not a surprise very cute come on out out you get uh so this one's love life school idol project lesson wear uh rain oh, oh i just realized that like her last name is cut off hoshi zora but as you see like if i zoom in enough see it has like all cut off there kind of annoying but yeah see very cute let's grab this pop Ren's head on I will say that her head was a little bit easier to put on um, I think I'll just pull it up just a little bit so that she's got a little bit of a neck so there she is she is very very cute love Rain. like I didn't like Rain uh, back in the day just because like I couldn't stand the whole like how she would always be like nah all the time but once I saw her in English, like, she really kind of started to grow on me in the English dub of the series. And now she's like one of, I think she's number four in my best girl list, maybe number three. So yeah, she really skyrocketed. So there she is, very cute. Love her. She can go over here as well <clears throat> without knocking over things. I also went to Real Groovy. Um, that was before... I went to the convention um, you guys would have seen that in my vlog but uh, I got this which look look at that price look at that price guys 
$25 off and I mean I own it already in like it's fat pack version but box set always need my box sets you guys know that I love my box sets and um, this I saw last year and I didn't really want to pay what was it $50 um, before the convention so I ended up leaving it went back found this but uh, the funny thing was is that they had this for like $15 off but then and that's what I picked up first off and then I realized that they had a second box and it was 25 off so I was like I'm just gonna put this one back and, and take this one home so uh, I got that but I also got another box set and that other box set is Pre-Tear, which is a series that I haven't seen. Um, pretty, pretty box, and it was $10 off, so I, I got it for $20. Um, very happy. Um, so yeah, two really nice box sets. So at the convention, I went to Artist Alley. The only thing that I did buy was this here. Beautiful, beautiful Chloe print. So she is definitely going up on my wall. I went to see all of the awesome voice actors and uh, unfortunately uh, I have got a missing memory card which has the all the stuff from that panel on it. So if you guys haven't seen the anime panel yet, I do apologize. I'm going to try and find that memory card so then I can post it. Uh, but I went and got signatures. This one here from Attack on Titan. Um, Ymir, I think her name was. Uh, I got Ruby. I haven't seen Ruby yet, but it's something that I'm probably going to go and check out. Another Ruby. Uh, this one here, amazing. We shall run. <laughs> so from Card Kept a Clear Card, video game. Haven't played it, but I thought it was cool. Love the voice actress. So I will say that she is uh, she has a very sultry voice. Um, <laughs> you guys will you guys will know what I mean once you do see that animation panel. And then there is another one here. And Yuri Katsuki from Your Own Eyes. I didn't get the chance to uh, get them to say anything to the camera because they were charging for like a second print and I'm pretty sure that they either wouldn't have done it or they would have charged me. So yeah, I didn't end up doing it that, this time around, which kind of sucks. Um, and the last one, which I can't remember what this is from. If you guys know, tell me in the comments. I also entered a raffle, which uh, was $30 and um, while a little bit expensive, I wanted to try and win a figure. I got the basic prize and I got to pick a plush toy. So I got myself a cute little Clefairy plush. It's so cute. I had the choice between like Clefairy, Mimikyu, Porygon, Teddy Ursa, um, Eevee. I think that was all of them. Um, and this one. And yeah, I was deciding whether I wanted this one, uh, Porygon, because it's just kind of different. Uh, or Mimikyu and I went with Clefairy just because it's so cute, so round, so plushy, love it. And last but not least, uh, while I was at Madman, uh, I ended up picking up a figure which was this one here for $30, my waifu Zora, love her so much. This one here is the EXQ figure um, and these here, uh, when you go on to Amiami, you can't get them sent uh, if you're in like Australia, New Zealand, um, they only send out to North America and Canada, which is really annoying for Ban Presto stuff. So yeah, got a Zora, which very happy about. Um, I'm gonna do some figure reviews on these ones here. So uh, expect those at some point in time. So this is why I'm not opening them now. Rip. <laughs> And from Hobby Master, I got Rico, who was um, on sale. Uh, she was normally $30, I got it for $20, so I mean, yeah, why not? Uh, so that's what the Rico looks like, as well as a Yo! So, Yosuro! <laughs> well, whatever she says, you know. Um, yeah, so got this one. So I've got three out of the set now, which is great because. Uh, I'd like to collect the rest. They're really pretty. Um, love just like their expressions, their poses. Uh, so yeah, getting these two for $20 each instead of $30 was great. And then getting uh, my Zora for, for 30 bucks. Like, I don't mind spending that. I mean, it's $30 for a figure anyway. So, you know, uh, cheaper than buying a lot of other stuff, that's for sure. So that is everything that I picked up from Armageddon. Um, yeah, I, I went a little bit overboard, but um, I had a lot of fun. 
got a lot of stuff. Uh, you guys will be seeing some figure reviews of those figures. Um, these two little chibi figures here are really, really cute. Um, I do like the terrariums. They're just a pain in the ass to put together. And uh, they're kind of expensive. That was, I think, $10 or $15. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this hauls video. I haven't done a hauls video in so long. Hit that like button if you did enjoy. Go down to the description below and check out all my social media links. And if you want to help out the channel and donate, maybe pick up a few more figures in the future or just help out the channel in general then you can donate one or two ways you can either donate through ko-fi or you can become a patron of mine and get an awesome shout out just like asperger bear bernard linwood garfield and lou's corner they're all awesome bibliotheers and you can become one as well all those links are down below so go and check them out and from mojimeka guys thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye my voice is cracking because i'm losing it again i'm sorry